Use the referral link in the description to G2A.com for all of your Xbox codes, PlayStation codes and video games and be sure to use the code CHEZ at checkout to get yourself 3% cash back. Hey guys, welcome to episode 2 of season 4 here in the Southampton series. Thank you for all of your suggestions in yesterday's video. A number of them have been added to the shortlist. We're in the process of selling Ryan Bertrand currently. That deal is underway with regards to uh, a potential transfer move away, as you can see, uh, to Fiorentina for 9 million. Still looking to sell Cedric and Quincy Promise and Sofiane Buffal. I've added to the shortlist at right back, we've Added from Vasalico to also include Audria Zola, Bustos, I don't know anything about him, but he supposedly is a youngster that grows quite well, and Joao Cancelo. I'm leaning towards Audria Zola, actually, uh, although he is quite expensive, so we'll have to wait and see if we can get Cedric sold before we look to bring him in. Uh, at left back, Luke Shaw and Jose Gaia were two options that were very popular. Unfortunately, they've both recently moved, so Gaia has gone to uh, Sporting Lisbon. And uh, Luke Shaw has moved to Manchester City. Now, uh, Ryan Sessegnon is, at present, I don't know how expensive he is. So, I'm waiting to see the uh, scout report. I'm not entirely too sure uh, how many days there's left on that, actually. And uh, Grimaldo does look very good. However, he too would be pretty expensive. Now, we're not sure whether to sign a rotation wing-back or a first team wing back on the left hand side. I'm leaning towards rotation because Kieran Tini's 83 rated and growing quite well and been pretty solid for me. So I'm edging towards Sessignon. And that would mean that we would spend, well, I'm going to be spending more on the right back anyway because I want a first team right back. So I'm, I'm probably going to bring in Audria Zola on the right hand side. I want to try and move Cedric on first. So uh, I think I've decided on my right back and left back, but I will open up the winger suggestions to a vote. Now, you guys quite rightly pointed out something I missed in the last episode was that Malcolm has actually recently just moved to Bayern Munich, so I can't sign him anyway. Uh, but I've added Sané, Bale, Sterling to Bailey, as well as uh, Guedes and Jelson Martins, who's currently at uh, AC Milan. Now, I, I'm probably not going to go for S Sterling... Although, oh, Sani is just... The wages are just astronomical for a number of these guys. I mean, I would be open to bringing Bale back to the club. And to be fair, even though he's dropped a couple of ratings overall, his stats still look great. His stats still look very, very good. So he would be superb. And of course, this is going to be the last season at Southampton before we move on to a different series. So, uh, I, I genuinely don't know. I think I think I'm going to have to I'm going to have to remove someone because I can only add five options to a vote on YouTube. So, let's remove let's remove Sane M mainly because of that valuation. I can e I could probably afford either a big fee or wait big wages. I probably can't afford both. So I'll remove Sané. You can always look at him in a different series. I will add a vote to the video. You can click uh, top right on that little I symbol and vote. Bale, Sterling, Bailey, Guedes, Martins. And have your say. I'm almost certainly going to go for Sessignon at left back. And uh, I'm almost certainly going to go for Audrey Zola. I'm, I'm waiting to see what happens with Bustos. I'm curious to see what happens with Bustos. Uh, but Sessignon is probably someone I'm going to try and sign in this episode if I can get a scout report back on him so I don't end up overpaying. And winger, pff, no idea, but I am going to have to sell on uh, Promise and or probably and Buffal to be able to afford to do that, to bring in that winger. So I'm going to go and play the other two games in the group stage uh, today against uh, Bayern and then the other side from the... Uh, actually, Buffemi said he wanted to play, didn't he? I won't start him. Uh, yeah, we've got Al Ali and someone else in the Saudi League. Can't quite remember who it is off the top of my head. But we got a ridiculous win yesterday uh, in the opening game of the group stage. So any draw or better against Bayern would certainly put us through. 
so we can rest a few people for, well, I haven't got the option to rest a few people because so many people are on international duty actually at the Euros, so we'll just take it as it comes, but drop the video a like if you enjoy, let me know in the comment section down below which way you voted on that winger vote, and I will act upon it as and when the funds become available, uh, but for now, I'm going to jump into this game, subscribe to the channel, oh, it's Al Hilal, I knew it began with a H, I couldn't remember the, the full name, uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't, drop the video a like if you enjoy, and hopefully... We can get a decent win here against Bayern. Actually, I'm curious to see who they're playing. Uh, player ratings. They are playing Wagner up top, Fruchtel in goal, uh, Low left back with Diego Godin and Gerard Piquet at centre back, interestingly, and uh, Leku at right back, Di Maria on the right hand side, and Perisic on the left with Renato Sanchez back at Bayern now, and Arturo Vidal in the middle with Dorsch also in the, uh, in the midfield. That's a, a very. Very, actually, unrecognisable Bayern Munich side with rotation players and just new signings. PK, Diego Godin and Angel Di Maria. Interesting. Uh, Sanchez across to Dorsch. Into Perisic, nice tackle. Now, I highly doubt I'll be scoring eight goals in this game. Actually, with the really bright sun on that far side... Even though we're playing completely different colour kits, it is actually quite difficult to determine who's who on this far side of the pitch. Hopefully, I can get adjusted quickly. It's not too bad at all when the ball is already in this sunny area, but because the contrast adjusts as you move from uh, the sunny area to the, uh, the shaded area, as you can see now, on that far side, it's actually, at times, quite difficult to decide or decipher which player is mine, which player is theirs. Fingers crossed I've become accustomed to it, but it's going to take a bit of getting used to. It's a lovely ball in behind here to Richarlison. I will cut back and then look from around on the edge of the box. Oh, mistake from the goalkeeper. Sergei Milinkovic-Savic makes it Southampton 1 by Munich nil after eight minutes played. He kicked it straight at the keeper, I think. We'll have a look here. Yeah, he did. Oh, fructal. That was pretty diabolically poor, my man. I apologise, but that is 100% squarely your fault. Piffel out to Richarlison. G.A.G. making moves. Trying to use his pace. He's gotten away from P.K. Drill it into the middle and cleared away by Lowe. I just checked the menus, and whilst they have got some big names in their starting lineup uh, by Munich, because we're now at season four, they're all really old. Gerald Piquet is down to 84 rated from, what, 86, I think? Diego Godin is down from 88 to 82 rated in this save right now. Vidal's down to 84. Angel Di Maria's 81 rated. Perisic down at 83. Like, yes, they've got big names, but their stats have dropped so significantly, they're not really any good. Specifically, Diego Godin. I'm surprised he's dropped by six ratings to this point. Buffal holds off. Diego Godin here, and Ziyech will pick up the loose ball, but not be able to give us a second goal. This might be a pretty straightforward tip, uh, win here against what I thought was going to be a pretty difficult buy inside. But as it happens, they're really not that good, you would presume. And I'm 95% certain that pretty much everybody in their first team squad is away on international duty right now. And if we come up against them in European competition later this year in the Champions League... They're going to be a hell of a lot harder to beat. Romeo Stevens back to Oriol Romeo again. Back in there to Sofiane Buffal. This is good possession play, but will it actually lead to a chance on goal? That's a question on my lips right now. It might well do. Buffal to Richarlison. Gieju is there. I see the run being made by Justin Cliver in the middle. That is a superb goal. I just glanced up. It was just this flash. As he accelerated across the screen in front of me. Thankfully, I was able to pick him out before he ran offside. Lovely through ball to him. He just put the afterburners on you. You can see him running from deep there. And he just kept going. Borderline offside as I played the ball. Fruitful gets something on it again. But for a second time, it's into the back of the net. Unlucky there, the goalkeeper, perhaps. This one definitely not his fault. But still, it went in. And that was on the run. I'm going to have to draw a defender out of position to try and close him down. Perisic might go for the 1-2. In the end, he hasn't. He's laid it across here to Angel Di Maria. Don't let him have any space on his left foot. Or for Dal have any space on his right. Perisic can't let him have space on either foot. 
Thankfully, he's hit the post. Nearly pulling one back there on the brink of half-time by Munich. They are dangerous when they put their minds to it. They just haven't put their minds to it that often in this first half. This is good football from Bayern. And Renato's in. Ooh, if that had buried itself in the bottom corner, you'd have said great goal. As it happens, he's missed. Over into Sofia and Buffal. Forward there to Jeju. Nice to Tierney. Look at Savic. Romeo. Jeju. I see the run. Can he get there? He can. Good save by Fructal. He actually saved something. Fair play to you, my man. Nearly 3-0. Three... Oh, hang on. It might... Oh, Jesus Christ. That was supposed to be a fake turn. I've just kicked it off the pitch. It was very nearly 3-0, three minutes into the second half. Sadly, it wasn't. Perisic into Wagner. To Vidal. Renato Perisic. Vidal again. Little scoop out here to Lecou. Probably butchering that name. I apologise. Lovely ball into Renato. And they've got one back. It's a good goal. Fair play. It's a good goal. 2-1. Look at Savic to be foul. He's going to go again, Sofian. And here's Clivert. Lovely turn. Oh, Buffal. Simple third. They might have pulled one back with a nice move. I could put together a nice move or two myself. Thank you very much. Southampton 3, Bayern Munich 1. Our two-goal lead restored. May out to Buffal. Cedric. Cedric to Buffal again. Oh, Femi's come on and he's made that run. It's a good run. Can I find the man at the back post? Well, yes, actually. But he can't find the back of the net. I'm not too sure why he slid into that. He stays on his feet and just strikes it. Then he stands a much better chance of scoring with Charlison. 14, 13 and a half minutes to go. Still 3-1. Wagner. Nicely intercepted. We'll loft this over the top. And you are not catching Obafemi in this situation. Sorry, lads. I feel a bit dirty there, but I really don't care. I'm even going to do the stir the pot. <laughs> Southampton 4, Bayern Munich 1. I, I should have perhaps given Obafemi the goal there, but never mind. They committed so many men forward that it was quite simple to pick them off. 4-1. I get the feeling if they were playing their full strength side, it might well be the other way around, however. Here's Malcolm. He's come off the bench. Scoops the ball into the middle and Romeu and Obafemi can't clear it, but Dorsch fires straight at McCarthy. Got a corner. In the last few moments. And, oh, he could be on the end of this screen. Yacht. Well held, Fructal. Reactions in the man. If only he'd had reactions that quick for a couple of the other goals that I've scored. It's a 4 1 win against Bayern. Although it, is ve it was very much, I know I keep hammering on the point, but it was very much a second string Bayern Munich. Al Halal beat Al Ali by two goals to nil. So I'm on six points. Al Halal and Bayern are on three apiece, and Al Ali are on zip. We face Al Hilal next. So we will be through to the knockout stages. Now, are we going to get any offers or any scout reports back before the game against Al Hilal? Bertrand has been sold. Seven million has been added to my budget. I'm going to turn down this bid for uh, Aritha Blaga from AC Milan. 55.6 is a big offer, but I'll turn it down. And then we've also had an offer here for Cedric from Real Madrid of £13.3 million. You have a few pennies in your back pocket, Real Madrid. I might like to negotiate this, if you don't mind. Let's... I don't want to be too unrealistic. Let's ask for 20 and see if they're willing to negotiate. Are you willing to negotiate? Oh. Yes, they are willing to negotiate. All right. That's more than I was expecting to get for Cedric anyway. So I'm not overly too concerned that I may have missed out on an extra couple of million. An offer for Josh Sims. 10.7 is actually a decent offer, but I'm going to turn it down because I'm going to need him for squad rotation. I'd rather sell Buffal and Promes and keep Josh Sims as a backup because, quite frankly, I need the money. So uh, we shall also replace again. Go and play Al Halal. And hopefully, after this game, we'll actually know uh, what valuation I should be paying for Ryan Sessegnon. I right, around the corner nicely to Cedric. To Jeju, to Buffal, to it across the middle. This game might be as straightforward as the one against Al Ali. 
Although Al Halal did just did just beat Al Ali, so they're better, or at least theoretically they're better. Whether they actually will be or not, we'll wait and see. I'm pretty much dominating these opening moments, and that's a lovely turn. Oh, desperately unlucky, Jeju, from giving us a wonderful 1-0 lead after five minutes. Hell of a hit. Back off the post. Pensarki into uh, Mabu. Or Kadish, whichever way you want to read his name. Pensarki with a cross. And Ataif was there at the near post, but luckily we've been able to get it away. We fell looking for Savic. That's ball. Sunin to... Mukhtar, strike, good save. He hit that very well. Very firmly indeed. Corners come in from Ben Charki on that far side. Jatif has picked up an injury for them, apparently. Should be a clearance. Oh, it was half a clearance. That was well blocked by Scrini out. And Al Fatif, well, half eat, sorry, will try and get the ball back in. He steps away from one, and away from two. And there's the delivery. It's a goal kick. Mayu. And we're all looking for Gieju. Lovely turn from Gieju. Bufal. Oh, it's a great turn. Sofian Bufal drills it wide. Oh, yeah. A certain opening goal. That's what I thought as well. No. However, drill it in there to Gieju. Play that forward. Can Bufal this time put it away? No, he's done it again. Sofian. Mate, I'm trying to put you in the shot window. I need you to be putting these away so that you're more appealing to potential buyers. Continually putting the ball wide of the target is not helping with that. And Charky has gone one way than the other, and that's completely fooled me. Nice ball into Al Sunayin. Cross towards the back post. Oh, not necessarily comfortably, but still smothered around the post for a corner by Alex McCarthy. And Charky with said corner. It's a whip that he actually will hold on to, the goalkeeper. Now, can we go on a counter-attack? We foul. Jeju's already on his bike. I just need to wait to play the pass at the right time, which we've done wonderfully. No, we haven't. Not worried to Cedric. Ball to be foul. Jeju, can he put the ball away? Yes. He's more deadly in front of goal than Sofian Bufal. Well, I mean, at least Bufal gets the assist, I suppose. So, that will put him in, on paper, good form. And you do tend to get more offers for players when they're in good form. So, hopefully we can spark some interest in him. Bertrand having already left. Cedric having an offer accepted and, I presume, on his way towards a move to Real Madrid. And then, I still be waiting for bids for Bufal. Obviously, I haven't had anything from Promise either yet. But he's currently out on international duty and Bufal could continue to fail to score, which is what he's done. <laughs> which is Richarlison to Sofia and Bufal. Little spin. Genuinely, you don't know where to pass it. I'll give it through there to Gieju and maybe look for Bufal again. Okay, or Richarlison. Why could nobody score a goal in this game? So many great opportunities. And they just keep kicking it wide. These are the chances that against Al Ali were going in. That's why I was able to score eight. I should probably have scored about five or six already in this one, but I've only got one. Falata. Falata. Oh, a little drag back, but Sims puts an end to it. We'll drive forward. We'll give that in there to Jeju. Bufal's making the run. We'll play him through. Come on, Sofian. Can you score this time? No! Why is there a Sofian Bufal in this game? Bufal just cannot score. I mean, we've got a second, but... Huh? Here's Kadish. Ah. Right, okay. They've just gone straight up the other end and scored. One big switch. An immediate ball inside. And a simple finish. Alex McCarthy not making quite as large a mistake as Fruxel in the last game. But... Still pretty poor goalkeeping. 2-1. Oh, lovely spin by Josh Sims. Are you onside here, Gieju? I'm not sure whether you were or not. Apparently you were. Okay. And Josh Sims. Oh, hello. Is he, he's not right-footed, is he, Josh Sims? That was a hell of a strike. Yeah, he's left-footed. 
Three star weak foot. That was really tidy from Josh Sims. Five minutes to go. We've extended our lead. I rate that. So we the throw to Jafali. Early ball. Decent cross. Stevens wins the header quite comfortably. Walking way around tries to do the same. Sims will look for him. Quickly forward to Jeju. I'm not sure whether I'll actually be able to score on this. I mean, Oreo and Ray seemingly had enough and wants to get involved anyway. Here's arriving is Josh Sims. Or here arriving is Josh Sims, if I get my words in the correct order. Everybody's just seemingly running out of the way. So I'll try again on his right foot. It's a good save by Al Habsi. It's going to go out wide. And the corner could come in from Linkovic Savic. Can we get a fourth? That was terrible from Borja Mayoral. And I think the final whistle is about to go. A 3-1 win. We're through to the group. Or through out of the group stage. Now, how much money am I going to get from that? Because I need the money, really. Juventus beat Real Madrid by two goals to nil. Atleti beat Paris Saint-Germain by two goals to one. I have no idea who we're going to be playing in the semi-final, actually. Find out momentarily. It's going to be Juventus. 2.6 million. That's not bad. That's not bad. We'll take that. Now, please give me a scout report for... Oh, hello. Yeah, no, I'm on board with that. 42.5 is a hell of a lot of money as well. Oh, I'm going to negotiate. But Everton... Everton... Well, actually, in real life, Everton actually, actually have a decent whack of money. I'm not going to ask for too much because... I don't want them to back out. I'll ask for 54. Please don't just walk away. Teams are just seemingly giving me more money than I think they will. Right. That's huge. Cedric about to go to Real Madrid. Quincy Promes about to go to... Well, hopefully about to go to Everton. Uh, Leven Gazal has just gone to Bayern Munich. Hmm. That's an interesting one. So... I know anything. I still don't know anything about system. I'm getting there. Pretty decent pace-wise. Stan Tackle. Uh, well, I mean, he's going to be back up, isn't he? We still want Kieran as my first team, so that's fine. Uh, do I have any idea about Bustos yet? Good acceleration. Seemingly going to be decent sprint speed. I'm not sure about his tackling stats. He's not going to be good enough, is he, really? He, I mean, he's just not going to be good enough. So, I'm going to remove him. Uh, once Cedric is gone, I will uh, commit to trying to buy Alvaro Odriozola. I just want to make sure Cedric goes first. before I don't want to buy anyone in and then find out that I haven't been able to move the player on in case contract talks fall through. So tomorrow, we'll play Juventus and then, fingers crossed, hopefully the final as well to raise some more money. If not, we'll advance towards the game against Manchester City in the uh, Community Shield. There's a full month to go before we get to that game. And I'd like to think that there's plenty of stuff to be happening in the transfer window between now and then. Uh, drop a link, drop a link, drop a like on the video. <laughs> uh, check the link or the little I icon, letter I icon in the top right to vote for the winger. And uh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. I'm surprised that they, A, Everton offered so such a high amount for Buffal. Was it 42 and a half? Or 43 and a half, and B, that they just straight up accepted a 54 counter offer. I genuinely was expecting them to kind of re like renegotiate to about 45 to 48. So, I mean, I'm quite happy with that. And the 20 million for Cedric as well. I think we're doing all right in this transfer. Window. We've got nine for uh, Bertrand, too. We might just get all of the players in that we want to. Maybe. We'll find out. I'll see you next time.